Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams again. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to move some cash flows. So in this example, I'm going to move cash flows to an earlier period of time. And because I'm moving it earlier in time, I have to use the present value equation. So what we have is we have this $1,900 cash flow that's going to be made in year eight. But what I want to know is what's the value of that in year three if my interest rates are 8%. So I'm going to use my time value money keys on my BA2 plus. The first thing I need is N. So that's the number of periods, in this case years, that we're going to move our cash flow. So from year eight back to year three is a period of five years. Our interest rate was given as 8%. Remember I said because we're moving cash flows to an earlier period, we're going to solve for present value. So we'll put a little question mark there. We're not making any payments, but I know that in the future, I'm going to get $1,900. And remember, either present value or future value has to be negative. So I'm going to make that future value into a negative $1,900. And I'm going to come over here and use the time value of money keys on my calculator in order to solve. So I'm back. Um, you never even knew I was gone. And so I'm going to begin with my time value of money keys. So I know my N is 5. My interest rate is 8%. Remember, we're going to compute present value. My payment is zero. My future value is $1,900. But remember, it's got to be a negative. So that's my future value. And because I'm moving the cash flows earlier in time, I'm going to compute present value. And so what this tells me is that if I am going to get $1,900 in year eight. In year three, that cash flow is worth $1,293.11. I hope this helped. Um, if you need more help, come visit me on my YouTube.